You know Randall Quarles. What do you have to say about him? Is he a good candidate for the Fed? Uh, not a good candidate. He is an outstanding candidate for the Fed. A t wonderful background. It's very strong on substance. Importantly, very strong, too, on stature, which I think were the two points that Dan Tarullo made earlier for the Fed chairman, but I think that really applies to the vice chair also. Interestingly, Randy started his government service uh, during uh, the Bush administration as executive director of the International Monetary Fund for the U.S. Then he was assistant secretary for international affairs at Treasury before becoming undersecretary for domestic finance. Domestic finance does mostly the bank regulatory work, but that bank regulatory work is always done in a global setting and the fact that he, interestingly, like, like Dan Tarullo, started on the international side before mm -hmm. moving over to the domestic side, I think is a very important signal both to the U.S. and the global markets that we're putting someone in who understands that the U.S. regulatory system operates in this broader global environment. Finally, Bob, uh, Janet Yellen's term's up in February. and There's a lot of speculation about whether she'll be renewed or not. There's a lot of talk about what sort of candidate would be best to go into that slot. Um, do, uh, should that decision have an ideological part to it? Because there's a lot of talk about people who are, for example, for smaller balance sheets, who are basically self-skeptical we should have done QE at all, they have a different monetary policy orientation. Should that be part of the decision of the president about who to nominate? I think ideological is always a little bit of a loaded word. I'd hmm. go back to what Dan Trillo said, substance and stature. I think the person has to be capable of dealing with the tough substance that the Fed deals with in a global context, and he or she has to have stature. I would note one point. If you sort of say, who are the successful central bank governors outside the United States? You have people like Mario Draghi. Mm -hmm. You have people like Mark Carney. You have people like Haruhiko uh, uh, Kuroda in Japan. Interestingly, all of them had been vice finance ministers. They hadn't really been economists in the past. They'd been vice finance ministers, G7, G20 deputies. So what I would say is, as people look at that substance, let's look at it both in terms of breadth as well as depth.